Hello, everyone. Welcome to Gardenish. Welcome back. If you've been here before, welcome to the channel if you haven't. I'm actually inside the barn right now. Um, I wanted to start this video off inside because if any of you are not experiencing the cicada extravaganza that's going on, I'm going to let you in on what it's like. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me really well outside, so we're just going to take a quick garden tour. I'm going to show you what I've got going on, what's new, and check out our potato towers. And I want you to hear what's going on. Um, I've had a couple of conversations with people local to my area that haven't even seen one. And here we are getting bombarded and we're getting attacked when we walk out the door. So. Um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. They don't bother me when they're just hanging out. I will pick them up and throw them in the grass so they're in, in not in harm's way of getting stepped on. But when they start flying at my face, that freaks me out. Uh, anything that flies like a kamikaze and has no control where it's going makes me a little nervous. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. So let's go check this out. And uh, you guys get to experience the cicada nonsense that's going on. This is a row of my sugar cube melons. They're baby cantaloupes, basically, and they are very delicious, and they are going to grow up over this trellis. That's what I've got here. I haven't put anything in this front row yet. Here are some broccoli, cauliflower, let's see, cauliflower. These are all cauliflower. There's some cucumbers. These are questionable. We don't know. They're either broccoli or cauliflower. They were um, the they were mixed matched when the greenhouse destruction happened. Same here. Not sure which ones these are, but they're growing. They're getting there. Back here, we got some Cherokee purple back over here 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 and here i actually lost two of them to a critter so either I, something dug them up because the roots were gone everything the whole thing was gone so hopefully this next batch will stick around i believe let's see these are cabbages which really need to kick it into high gear that one I think got attacked too much, too bad by the roly polies. Oh, and hey, look, speaking of the devil, there's a cicada. Look at this guy. Hi, buddy. How you doing? He doesn't know where he's going. See, it, whatever. See, I don't mind them touching me. I don't like them coming at me though. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> those three looking beautiful. This is my second round of cucumbers over here. The first round got eaten by roly polies. That's what you're seeing here is my diatomaceous earth. Um, I sprinkled it because I have to save my stuff at this point. The cabbages are doing well, except for that one. He's slowly going, but and then we come over here. 
We got some squash. I think it's butternut. Butternut squash. I've got to put in the ground. It's getting dry. These are some tomato plants. These are some peas. That one's doing really well. Squash. <clears throat> this is an unknown. I pulled it out of the uh, compost pile. It lost a couple of its leaves, but it, it actually came back to life pretty nicely. I'm gonna see what happens. I think this is another butternut. Yeah, oh no, that's a spaghetti squash. I gotta put that one in there too. This is blank. So basically, they are gonna grow up over that cattle panel right there. These are more peas. And then this is my wild jungle of what was supposed to be root crops. It does have some radishes in it that are growing and I've eaten a few. The dogs love the radishes. There's supposed to be rutabagas and carrots in here too, but everything kind of got haywire in the spin, so eventually it's all gonna come out. And probably gonna go to tomatoes or onions, so no. So yeah, here we go. Here's our place. There's one archway, new, that's new. Another trellis there, another trellis there. And we got our potato towers. <clears throat> I'll link the video below so you can see how we did this. They're doing good, this one's doing really good. This one actually has flowers. We have flowers coming out. So, yeah, that's exciting. I think that's gonna be really cool to open up and dump them out when the time's ready. So, yeah. And that, my friends, that is the ebb and flow of the cicada rhythm. It's pretty amazing to hear it in real time, like here because you can hear them surround sound, but the sound goes and comes, it's unbelievable. And then there's some in a different season. I guess they're a week or two behind. <clears throat> they literally sound like someone gave a five-year-old a leaf blower. That's the only way to put it. And the only reason I know it's not a five-year-old with a leaf blower is because it's way too rhythmic for it to be that. Um, and then it turns into this eventually, so. So it looks like we may be getting a little bit of a storm rolling in. I know the chances of that this weekend are off and on all weekend. So I just wanted everybody to hear what was going on here and see what we've got going on in the garden. Um, I'll do another video. I've got a couple different things that I want to do out here. So we'll do some kind of a constructional video soon. But I just wanted to get my face out there and let you guys see what we've got going on here in case you don't experience these cicadas, at least now you get to. All right, everybody have a safe weekend, a safe day whenever you're watching this, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Bye.